Well, I would say the first thing that you should do is, uh, and I think it follows on to something that Kevin just mentioned, is, is take, the, take a look at your portfolio uh, and understand from a portfolio view uh, what you want to modernize holistically in a, uh, a mission process. And that mission process could be within your agency. It could also be within your agency and then external to your agency with other agency partners mm -hmm. as you're moving through. Like a shared service. Even. Yes. Yeah. Um, I mean, like at DHS, uh, obviously the law enforcement portfolio was something that we worked on uh, very strategically to try to partner with DOJ and state and others that were our natural mission partners. So when I think of how a CIO uses all of these tools and capabilities and policies that we're changing uh, to put, um, you know, success on the map. Uh, it really is pulling together the flexible funding strategies, the uh, acquisition approaches, and the talent that you're bringing to the equation to make these things happen. But you can't do that unless you've rationalized your own portfolio and you know where to start. Uh, and so I would encourage um, everyone in an agency to have a modernization roadmap and to just start marching down the most critical path uh, to uh, to get to uh, the other side of the equation, you know, to where you're in a modernized environment. And the most important thing to bring to the table, of course, in that equation is the talent. You've heard many of the, of the uh, members here of the panel today speak about it. Uh, we have invested so much in the CIO Council and the Workforce Committee um, and trying to bring uh, the kind of talent uh, that we need to the table uh, is encouraging within the federal government um, that uh, we are, are uh, reskilling and retraining uh, individuals to move into areas like cyber and like uh, um, DevOps where we don't have enough uh, people coming to the table, that where the pipeline needs to be enhanced. Um, and then uh, uh, we just launched the Reskilling Academy uh, last week. Uh, where we're actually um, uh, partnering with SANS to uh, the SANS Institute uh, to um, ask folks to uh, to come to the table and learn about the cyber world and become a part of it. Uh, so that's creating that pipeline, and then the coalitions that we built within the federal government. Uh, that's I, there's not a day that goes by that I'm not working with with any of these people at the table. But particularly uh, in cyber with, with DHS, NIST, uh, NSC, others. Um, and then in, um, you know, in the acquisition space, spend a lot of time with GSA, don't we, Dave? Uh, so everything that we're trying to do in terms of our, those shared services that we're talking about, those acquisitions are being um, you know, thought through and, and effectively executed uh, with GSA. 